All right, Shalom. This is Har Wan Ban Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say Ka Halayim La Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Harikar Kodash Ma'ama. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, Nagwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. <clears throat> uh, I want to read a couple quotes uh, um, that I've uh, screenshotted and. Um, I get the uh, inspiration from um, this movie I was watching called Social Dilemma. All right, Social Dilemma, and it's on Netflix. I believe every brother and sister should check it out, even let your children see it, if you can get them to sit down long enough. But um, it speaks about the social dilemma that has been created, especially here in America, uh, all over the world, but especially here in America through the Internet. All right, with um, all these selfies and memes and um, uh, advertisements, the selling of people's attention on the internet, and that's what that movie was speaking about. It was speaking about how these companies, these corporations, and these internet uh, tech companies like um, Facebook, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> what's another one? Instagram, Twitter, right. YouTube, all these different sites, these these web pages, uh, web domains, the owners of them, they sell people. All right, they sell people. They sell virtual, almost they say almost like a virtual voodoo doll that they make of each person. All right, they have a virtual standing of that individual, and they lay out. They have a hundred to even more engineers and supercomputers that work against one individual person's mind. So it could be a child, it could be an adult, woman, male, doesn't matter. But they assign uh, engineers and computers to each person to build an algorithm, um, you know, so they basically uh, type in a code into it for, for it to be uh, wired to manipulate and to follow any movement that that human makes if they change their mind or something the computer or the engineers alter it or manipulate it or change with it all right create an algorithm that was put in there by the creators of the uh of the system now people like facebook they were saying like yo how do they make money why do they make money are they helping anybody no what do they make money off of? Why is he a billionaire? Why are these different companies billionaires? Why is it when you sign up for an app or a game or anything, they want your information? What is that? Well, what it is, is they're selling your attention. Each app or each, uh, I'll say app, yeah. You know, like Facebook or YouTube, whatever. They get paid millions, you know, from these corporations through promotional uh, revenue. And they get paid millions just to, of a promise, saying that, hey, I'll keep, yeah, if this person bought my app, I, I promise I can keep him on the internet or her for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Up there, away from the internet, I can pull them back with this, with this slight notification. Boom, so-and-so has just done something on the internet. It'll pull somebody back to the internet. And then they'll get paid millions just for that. We got them back to the internet again. They 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 even watch your eye twitches. They can see you through the damn phone. All right, they follow you. Everything you're doing, everything you like, you dislike, the pictures you put up, the tracking, everything, man. And they use that to control the mind through the internet. All right, so um, I want to get a couple of scriptures. And uh, the, the name of this was going to be <clears throat> uh, Users, all right? User, users, the social dilemma. And I got this quote right here. I want to read a couple quotes, all right? Because we know the internet and the, and the, um, the YouTube is all part of what? The unicorn, according to the scriptures. And it's supposed to be a tool that you use instead of the tool, the AI using you, 
All right, the AI, artificial intelligence, through algorithms, is becoming is outsmarting humans. All right, just like the movie Terminator, they, they didn't control with they control with guns and all that on terminating killing, but imagine AI controlling through intelligence and algorithms. All right, so that's what they're planning, man, and to put that chip in everybody. So, but the Lord told us what we should be doing with uh, any devices or anything upon this earth. So let's read it. Let's get into it. It says, any sufficient advanced technology, all right, technology is in indistinguishable from magic, all right? So it's basically the same as magic technology, all right? Technology and craft are almost the same word. Okay, let's get it real quick. All right, this is the word technology as a noun, and it says um, a discourse, a treaty, or treaties on an art or the arts. All right, um, it says systematic treatment of an art, craft, or technique. All right, so something that somebody crafted, meaning like a chip or a program or an app or the internet or you know or um a machine and they program it and put an algorithm in it okay meaning manipulating the craft to do a certain job and that job that they wanted to do in the system that they created is to trap the minds of the people keep them distracted keep them walking around getting phone neck with the head hanging down looking at the phone sitting at the table with their family just all separated and controlled through the phone, right? Walking up the street, controlled through the phone. And the whole time, they could be studying scriptures on there. They can be uh, looking at the prophecies, and that's what you're supposed to use it for. Okay, it's a double-edged sword. Now it says, um, originally, so it's craft, originally referring to the grammar from techno, Combining form of technique, art, skill, craft, and work. And say so Esau is was, was crafty. Or he's creating some shit. Sneaky. Um, so it says to weave, to fabric. It says the meaning study of mechanical and industrial arts. Gives an example. Spinning, metal working, or brewing. Like a wizard, man. That's what wizards do. They brew up something. So creating all this technology and shit, they they, they brewed it up for a, a, a tool to manipulate and control the people, man. Technology is nothing wrong with that. Just like Noah, he created technology by making the boat. He created the, through the spirit. He made the boat out of wood, but he didn't make the, the boat to worship out of wood. You know, took he could have took that wood and made a damn idol. But instead, he took that wood and he made a boat. Esau takes metals and different things of the earth and make technology, but they use it for wickedness. They use it for evil. All right, that same technology could have been used and it could be a lot of good things on the internet. But instead, you get the good with the bad, you know, more bad than good. You know, all these different um, uh, shows or um, I call them talking heads, just on there talking, getting people's attention, gossip, porn, porn sites and shit, and uh, entertainment, everything that the, the everything that's the spirit of the Roman Empire, the agriculture, you know, everything from the Roman Empire mindset of partying and bullshit. And you can get it in real life, or you can get it through the internet, virtual. All right, see, so it says how the tech giants make their billions. They're making billions. Revenue streams of the big tech companies. So they got all these different revenue streams, right? Let me see something. Let me check this one out. This one right here is the one I want. It says this, look at this quote. 
And it says, um, there are only two industries that refer, that refer to their customers as users. One is the IT, right? Technology. Um, the other is illegal drug trade. So they're the both that, both the, the ones that call their, um, the, uh, you know, people that's involved in it, they call them users. So when you log in, they say a new user, you know, calling you at, hoping us to be addicts or addicted to the internet. They said, uh, on that show, they was like, yeah, you got one option. And you got two options. You're either going to pick up your phone before you pee in the morning, or you're going to pick up your phone while you're peeing in the morning. Basically saying they got you. Everybody need their phone. Everything is on the phone. You know, they even make, trying to make it so you can, uh, yeah, actually, you can pay it to register through your phone now. It, all right. So it's all the setup to grab the people's mind, even the TVs in the house, the newspapers back in the 60s and 70s, all the attention grabbers, the movie theaters, everything to get us to look at a screen, draw our attention away from what's really what's going on in the world. Well, the, the Internet can be used to see what's going on in the world. All right. If it's filtered. Uh, through the right person, you know, not a user, but a controller, a player in the game, a watcher, a watchman with eyes to see and ears to hear, to see the prophecies and to hear the prophets, the true word on the internet. I'm going to get this. All right. This is Nahum three and four. It says, be, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts, man. And that's what that internet is. It's basically witchcraft, the technology, because the ones who made it, all right? And what they use it for, they use it to put spells on people. That's why they said uh, it's, it's almost like everybody's under a spell, you know? It's like a spell has been cast over everybody. And that's true. A deep sleep, all right? Um, matter of fact, Nahum three and four, because of the multitude of this, this a multitude, not just idolatry, and adultery, and wickedness, and Satan worship, pedophilia, but also um, uh, wizardry. You know, necromancers, uh, witchcraft, our witches, man, and wizards, man, brewing up shit to 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 trap the people and put people under spell. And this internet, these phones are one of those um, crafts, all right? And they create an algorithm. Um, these, these companies like Facebook, they have created algorithms to uh, manipulate the people, man. Every every day on the phone, you get, if I cut my notifications off, they say you should cut them off. Or right? I have no notifications. I check everything myself. If I choose to, I don't need nothing on my phone pulling my attention back to it. All right, you're supposed to move through the spirit. So it says, "What that selleth nations through her whoredoms, and families through her witchcraft." Even today, they're selling, they're still selling nations. All right, it built on the place was built on slavery. Now it's selling of nations. All right through their whoredoms and now they're doing it uh, for money okay that's why the scriptures say that it says in families through her witchcrafts man alright so they're still selling families you go online um, your children you know they have 10 year old getting phones now um go to the schools and shit, and the next thing you know, the internet got them, boom, keeping them locked into the phone, turning them against the families. All right, this is Isaiah 60 and 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and the darkness represents our people falling asleep and not knowing who the hell they are. 
and falling into sin and wickedness and idolatry and even traps of the devil, traps of the serpent, man. All right. <clears throat> it says, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. All right. So anybody that create technology in that type of environment, they're creating it for wickedness, man, <clears throat> for witchcraft. All right. It says, but Yahweh shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And I'm talking about the elect. All right. Now, speaking about the internet, uh, let me read this. 1 Corinthians 6 and 12. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All right. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any, you know. So I'm speaking in a different terminology now, using it towards what? Technology or the phones. Okay. All right. This is the word expedient. It's an adjective. Okay. So it says, uh, it's an adjective. And um, it says adv advantageous fit proper to a purpose okay um it says useful beneficial man so all things are useful all right or benefit can be used uh for benefit um such as uh the internet or these phones man all right all these companies that keep switching phones up on you you get a phone next thing you know next month next the next month is out of date and you got to get a new phone. You see that? Uh, you go on your phone. As soon as you go on, there's instant uh, satisfaction because you want something new. You can just scroll from the top of the screen, renew your screen, and you get something new. New post every time, guaranteed. Boom, 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 boom. So it's like an instant satisfaction. All right. And, uh, and, and the selfies. Man, let me get that real quick. So all things are useful, um, are expedient, but you're not supposed to be brought under the power of the internet or the phones. This is Second Timothy three and one. This is this, I call this one the selfie scripture. You know, people taking them selfie photos and shit, and putting the filters on it. And they put the the women put the eyelashes and the the, the polka dot or I don't know the fucking face on this shit. That rabbit ears and all that. Trying to make themselves look cuter or something. But then they go and look in the mirror. They can't filter their face. You know? So they begin to hate what the Lord created. See, they fall under that spell, that witchcraft. They need that instant approval. Even Jake falls under that. The, the, the man. They be on there on the selfies. I remember they used to talk shit about that. Just like 50 Cent talking shit about Ja Rule singing. Now his ass sing. Singing every damn song. He sing better than damn Temptations. Harmony and everything. All right, so people get a, uh, men again on the internet talk shit about people and their vanity, and their van I call it the vanity mirror. All right, <clears throat> uh, uh, I am beautiful. How can I count the ways and shit? Looking in the fucking mirror on the on the phone, um, looking for approval from the world, and the whole time Esau getting their money off of that. You see that? All right, they get money off of that the whole time. The advertisements and tablet, uh, uh, it's all going up and down your screen, and they getting paid to keep you looking at the screen. So that's why the scriptures say this right here. It says this, Second Timothy three and one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. We're in perilous times, man. Verse two, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. All right, and men and women, they're lovers of their own selves. They love their damn self. They love the flesh, and the flesh is nothing but death, man. He, the spirit, is, your spirit, drag these bodies around for uh, however long you on this earth. That's just it. You know, you keep it healthy and things like that. But this is a uh, these bodies are temporary. But these people love it, you know. <laughs> anyway. They're caught in the lust of it in temptation. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, 
disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. All right. And a lot of that you'll see on the Internet as well. Uh, verse four says traitors. He heady, high minded. Lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. It's deep. Um, this is Ephesians 5 and 1, or 14. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that, that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Yahweh Shai shall give thee light, man. All right, let you see clearly. Verse 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise men. All right, so you're walking in this life, and you're walking in the path of this truth. You walk as being a wise person, not as fools, okay, and folly. Verse 16, being led by your own understanding. <clears throat> Redeeming the time, because the days are evil. So you're supposed to be what? Circumspect. Have your head on the swivels, looking around, not walking up the street, looking at your damn phone, unless you're looking at prophecies or looking at scriptures or uh, something edifying, you know. You might drift off in the entertainment here and there, but because you can find some some stuff there as well. But people that's, that binge watch all the, the internet all day, and gossip and whatever, man, they're not watching the prophecies or they're watching the basketball, football games and shit. Or they're looking up these damn wicked religions. All right? Well, they're stuck in that darkness. They're still in the congregation of the dead. Ephesians, so it says, uh, verse 15, 17. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of Yahweh Shema Shai is. All right, this is the word algorithm, okay? And it says Arabic system of computation uh, under mistaken connection with Greek arithmos number. The Arabic numeral system. All right. Surname of the mathematic mathematician whose work introduced sophisticated mathematics to the West. See algebra. All right, that was one of my favorite subjects in uh, high school. Algebra. The early form in Middle English was algorithm, meaning broadened to any method of computation, especially with reference to computing. Okay, so all these systems are built on the algorithm. No. All right, here go a um, post from the movie I'm talking about called The Social Dilemma. It's on Netflix, all right? And um, yeah, man, We're talking about the internet, all right? Addicted, trying to get them hearts and likes. <laughs> Look at this. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of jakes at home. Zombied out on the internet. <clears throat> All right. Look at this. This is what they were talking about. Where well, they said they made a, a a virtual voodoo doll of each person. Okay. Where they put all the selections that they like in front around that person and they create almost a virtual image of that person. And the, and the more they create the algorithm to that person, and um, build <clears throat> build a virtual character for that person. The more real their um, their virtual um, what would you call it, man? Uh, what's the word? All right, I think the word would be avatar. So a virtual avatar they've made up. Um, then it becomes more real in the virtual sense instead of in the human sense. They basically grabbing the minds of the people and pulling their damn soul out of their damn body. Right? By by telling them what to think, manipulating the mind so that 
their own personality becomes minute in the situation. And the big voice in their head becomes the internet and, and all the different um, voices and talking heads on there and promotional ads and, and slight suggestions and manipulations. All right. It's crazy, right? All these companies are getting money, getting paid off of our attention. <clears throat> okay. See that? So, um, all right. So again, I'm gonna read that quote. It says, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. So it's basically witchcraft, magic, man. All right, deception involved. All right, so um, this is First Corinthians 7 and 31. And they that use this world, so you can use the things in this world, you can use the internet, you can use these social media sites. It's best to kind of pull away from them you know, because of this, um, and they're um, they're monitoring it anyway. They, you know, they filter any. They have what they what they call them um, fact checkers. They set up fact checkers that delete your damn posts and shit. All right, so they're making money off of it. That's why I tell people that do videos they shouldn't be setting their videos up when they teach to make money. Because they're making the Lord's house a house of merchandise. All right. Now, if you're selling a product or whatever, yeah, you can use these companies and corporations um, that's seeking to feed off of people. You know, yeah, get me more people so I can uh, pay you this and I can sell my products. You don't want to use that for the scriptures, man. You don't want to use the scriptures to say, hey, I've taught you this. And I'm and and at the same time I'm selling you as a user as a watcher of my videos I'm selling you to the corporations because the corporations want your attention. I'm not gonna do that through the scriptures and teaching. That's why it's supposed to be separate. You teach on your own page with no money involved. You may get alms or something like that, but. Um, but then you might be having your own personal page where you do music or sell something or whatever, services, information, and you can get paid off of that. All right. But that's what the Lord said, what? And they that use this world, so you use the things in this world, you use the car, you use your job, right? You use the phones, you use your credit cards, your debit cards with the chip in it. But he said, what? as not abusing it for the fashion of this world passive away. So you don't want to go as far as getting a chip into your damn body when this world is going to pass away. This way of thinking is going to be gone. The internet. Right? All right, this is Second Peter 3 and 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. All right. So, um, and it says that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Okay. So, um, so you're supposed to be what? Occupied in prophecy on the phone, on your, on the internet, you're supposed to be looking up scriptures, breakdowns through the prophets, through the, uh, from the elders and the Akim, um, putting, doing the work on the internet. All right. So you're supposed to be, uh, researching, looking up history, maybe jobs and stuff. Um, geography, you know, current events or whatever reason. But, uh, check this out. This is three and 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of person are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? All right. In conversation. 
It just means what? In all manner of life, in all your behaviors, conduct, behavior, deportment. So what type of person should you be in all your manner of life, in your actions, right? If you know everything's going to be dissolved, this system, this internet, well, you should be able to look and uh, breathe the fresh air and look and look outside the window, the, the window and look at things around you. But we wouldn't be able to see all the prophecies happening if the Lord didn't create the internet. He used Esau to establish the internet and YouTube. All right, Job 39 and 9. Will the unicorn be willing to serve thee or abide by thy crib? And the unicorn represents the internet all the way to the uh, YouTube, all right? So the unicorn, and it's, it's funny because in America, they call the internet a unicorn, meaning it, it was just a, an amazing site that they just created out of nowhere. It's like you're, you're walking through a jungle which unicorns don't exist. Unicorns, the original unicorn is the rhino. All right, the rhinos are unicorns, meaning one horn, all right? So, uh, you know, imagine walking through a jungle and you see a unicorn. You'd be like, oh man, this is amazing. That's how the internet was. It was amazing for them. But now those banking elites, they wish they didn't create the internet. Just like all their technology, as they create it, it turns back on them. Just like when they create the chip and they establish the chip, I mean, and, and begin to push it, it's going to turn back on them. All right, so the internet is a double-edged sword. You can go on there for wickedness or you can go on there for righteousness. So it says, will the unicorn be willing to serve thee or abide by thy crib? All right, talking about uh, the YouTubes, putting your videos up there on YouTubes. Verse 10, canst thou bind the unicorn with his bands in the furrow or will he uh, herald the valleys after thee. All right, so will they be able to stop, um, shut down the word from going on the internet? Or will the internet, or will our work spread out on the internet for people to hear it and understand it? Um, verse 12, will thou believe him that he will bring home thy seed and gather it into thy barn? So once you put the videos on the internet, will you trust that uh, people are going to watch them and, and you know, view view the videos? So as you studying or preparing to teach, your videos are doing the work for you all night, twenty four seven. All right. So you, you know we we cry day and night all over the internet. So you go on the internet day or night, and you'll see the brothers teaching or the apostles teaching. <clears throat> All right. Um, Will thou trust him because his strength is great? They call the worldwide internet, or YouTube, and other social media platforms. Or wilt thou leave thy labor to him? All right. And that's what we do. We leave our work on the internet. All right. Through the phones or through the computers. Will thou believe him that he will bring home thy seed? and gather it into thy barn, all right, through the threshing floor. So bringing the brothers and the sisters into the truth. And that's what we, we use it for ever since the apostles were on the internet in 2007, all right? I was in this truth before that, but, um, you know, since then you can really see the truth on the internet, all right? Before that, the apostles had a website, but, um, you can see the truth right here on the YouTubes, man. All right. So now I'm going to get the scripture one more time dealing with that topic. First Corinthians 7 and 31. And they that use this world as not abusing it for the fashion of this world passeth away. So you, you're just using it temporary to reach our people around the four corners of the earth. 2000 years ago, when Paul was teaching, he would travel from place to place and that would take forever. Imagine if we had to do that today. You travel, yeah, but imagine if we had to do it to reach our people. But the Lord said, well, we're going to be stationary. We're going to be set up in different 
cities and countries. And we're going to reach each other that way through the internet, through the unicorn, through the spirit. All right. And it started with the apostles from Robert Bivens. All right. Down to the apostles uh, of GMS. Now, 1 Corinthians, so it says what? Use this world, use the internet without abusing it. Get on there with good intentions to, to study or do the work. All right. Or get a job or whatever righteous reason. All right. Now, um, <clears throat> and that's just it. Because we're supposed to be, he said, what? Watch. And to watch means to what? As looking at a window and looking at the screen. What, what's the computer called? Windows. All right. Looking at the screen is a window as well. So looking through the windows out at the world on the computer. Now it says, uh, Isaiah 25 and 7. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations, man. So there's been a veil, there's been a covering cast that has covered the people, a spell. And the Lord is going to destroy that. All right. And this um this this money making scheme that these corporate elites have started through these applications on the internet, the selling of people's attention as users, uh, that's part of the veil, part of the spread, spreading and covering cast over all the people. All right. Of course, I'm talking, you know, the covering cast would be sin and wickedness and are people not knowing who they are, idolatry and stuff. But I'm talking about another form. This Part of it is also the spells that they're putting on our people and have our people wearing blonde hair and men dressing like women. All that's pushed through the internet, man. Okay. Micah 5 and 9. Thine hands shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries. And all thy enemies shall be cut off. So Esau is going to be cut off. Two-thirds of our people are going to be cut off. The internet is going to be cut off. <laughs> he said it's going to be a what? A famine of the word. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith Yahweh, that I will cut off thy horses out of the midst of thee, and I will destroy thy chariots, and I will cut off the cities of thy land and throw down all thy strongholds. So the internet is also a stronghold. And I will cut off witchcrafts out of thine hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. And part of their witchcrafts and their wizardry is brewing up social dilemma on the internet. All right, through promotional sales, you know, through um, the attention of users and selling that to these corporations and all, the, all your information. Ecclesiastes 3 and 11. Uh, he that made, he have made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he have set the world in their heart, man. You see that? So people get on the phones and they'll be ignoring the shit out of you. And a lot of these corporations like Facebook, Google, they sell all your information, man. Every search that you do, everything, they save it as an algorithm. Now, they don't allow their children to be on the phones, you know, to have a phone, to be all on social media. All right. And they disdain, they disdain it. They said they hate it. They hate that they even created it because AI is starting to take over. It says, so that no man can find out the work that Yahweh make it from the beginning to the end. So you can go on the internet, you can go on any book, you won't be able to find it. It's going to become a snare and a trap to you, to those people, if they're not looking for the right reason, if they're not searching for the Lord. The scriptures say, seek him while he may be found. All right? If they're searching for wickedness and, and death, that's what they're going to find. All right? Confusion and deception and distraction then that's what they're going to find. That's what you got to watch out for, distractions on the internet, distracting you from what's really going on in the world. 
sort of like Trump saying he's sick. That's a distraction, man. Keep you from distracted from the economy collapsing. A World War Three breaking up. You understanding that, knowing that these things are going to be destroyed, you'll be looking for the Lord. You'll be looking for the truth. What's going on? This is Ecclesiasticus 39 and 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High. So you give your mind to the Lord's laws and is occupied in the meditation thereof. So you're supposed to be meditating in the, in the scriptures, the Old Testament and New Testament. All right. Don't forget the Bible. We, we look on our phones or we use the audio all the time. And it's nothing like picking up that Bible and just reading it with our own eyes. You need a little push. You might use the audio Bible while you're reading. But it's something about something about visual learning compared to uh, hearing and learning. It's something better about the visual. Because even when you close your eyes and you listen to something, you try to vision it. You know, so it's something about visual learning, reading, and that book, and that quiet time, man. All right. Um, it says, uh, and it's occupied. So keep your mind occupied, man. All right. Don't let them demons creep up in there. Scriptures say when a demon leaves a person and they come back and find it not swept and garnished or whatever, then it, it grabs s seven more demons. And, and, and corrupts the mind of the people, basically, man. And that's what the internet is, full of legion, demons and shit. Shit that to corrupt people's mind and children's mind and misdirect them from what's going on in the world and from Yahweh. All right? And throw them off the path. It says, and we'll seek out the wisdom of all the ancients. So you're going to be on the internet, you're going to be on your phone, you're going to be on the in your books, in prayer, seeking out the wisdom of all the ancient prophets and be occupied in prophecy. So you know, on your phone, you probably be looking at prophecies, everything that's happening according to the scriptures, current events, what's about to happen next, all right? Not looking up hip hop wives of Atlanta or some shit. <laughs> all right, he will keep the sayings of the renowned men and where subtle parables are, he will be there also. He will seek out the secret of grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables. So living their life and conversing in dark parables. You can sending that back and forth on the internet. The scriptures, breaking them down, understanding them. Using the unicorn uh, for righteous reason. And people that's not teaching... You're going to be occupied in the, in the brothers prophesying. All right. You're going to be occupied and watching the news and things like that and seeing what's going on. All right. I'm going to end it with this because the Internet is a temptation. YouTube is a temptation. These apps, these social media sites, Google. If you can, man, try to move towards uh, DuckDuckGo. That's another one. That doesn't that that um do not uh record and save all your searches on the uh, search engine. You know, Google they save everything that you do on the internet, and they compile it and create an avatar of you with all these other media sites. All right. So um, First Corinthians ten and thirteen. There have no temptation taken you, all right, but such as is common to man. See, being in the truth, you might get caught on the internet uh, drifting off, looking up other shit, comedy stuff or something, but you get back right back on track and, and you know, you might watch a boxing match and shit like that, right? Um, or, you know, basketball or something, but mainly 90% of the time, you're going to be occupied in prophecy and in prayer and teaching and studying and looking for the prophecies. All right, researching the past. First Corinthians 10 and 13, there have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. And temptation deals with what? A trial or addiction. But Yahweh is faithful 
who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. Even a chip that's going to be hardwired to the internet. All right. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. All right. So being on the internet, there's a way to escape all the deception and witchcraft that's on there. How? You be occupied in prophecy. That's going to lead you to, down the correct path in that life or in that realm, the virtual realm, and also in this real natural realm and also in the spiritual realm. It'll leave you in the, in the right path. All right. Being occupied in prophecies and the scriptures, whether you're on the Internet or on your phone. All right. So he says uh, he, with, with the temptation, you'll also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it, man. All right. So, um, yeah, man. So that's what this lesson was about, the social dilemma of them. Um, all right. So it says, um, let me get this real quick. There you go. There are only two industries that call their customers users, illegal drugs and software. 